All right, guys, we are back in my garage for another video. And today we are going to be talking about the latest post from MHD. Hopefully by now you guys have all seen their latest update where they share they're doing a major upgrade to the MHD plus tuning suite. Now, this is something that enables a lot of additional capabilities on top of what our factory DME allows. They put custom code into our DMEs and our tunes so that we can enable a lot of extra features. But this next one takes their reflex integration to the next level, as well as extends MHD plus capability to other platforms. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the update in this video, and hopefully you guys find it useful. Now, as always, for everybody that's new to the channel, I create these videos to help keep you updated on the latest developments in our community, as well as discuss technical topics so that we have a better understanding of how our engines work. So if you're interested in more videos like that, be sure to subscribe because there will be a lot more coming out in the future. Now really quick, let's go over what MHD Plus is. So for those of you guys that aren't familiar, MHD released their MHD Plus tuning suite, and that adds a bunch of additional features on top of what the DME allows from the factory. A big one is flex fuel. So it actually enables your car to adjust boost and timing based on the amount of ethanol content in your fuel system. All you need is a flex fuel sensor and you can wire that up either to the MHD's flex fuel kit or an external tool like a motive reflex and the car will automatically read the ethanol content to make the necessary adjustments. Now, if you don't have flex fuel, you can also use map switching and you can enable up to four different maps on your tune. And each of these maps can be set up for a different type of fuel, a different amount of boost, you know, anything that you might want to set up. So now there's no more need to flash every time you want to switch maps or change minor settings. You can simply enable those within those four different slots. And with a couple presses on your steering wheel, you can switch maps and get right back on the road. Another one is anti-lag. So this is a tool that allows you to build boost while the car is rolling without having to hit the brakes or do anything else to put a load on your engine. They also have the Knox CEL, which I haven't seen a lot of people talk about, but it basically enables a custom tune to flash the check engine light in case you're getting a certain amount of timing correction. So if it's more than negative three or negative six, whatever parameter you set, the CEL will flash to let you know that something's wrong. It also enables no lift shift. So for everybody else that has a manual transmission, hopefully you've seen my video on that, but it allows you to flat foot shift into the next gear and it continues holding boost. So you got full torque when you get back on the throttle. And it also has PI safety, which allows the car to disable the ignition system if it ever disables an injector. The problem is if it disables a factory DI injector, it won't necessarily stop the port injectors. So if you still have the spark firing, then that spark can light up any fuel coming in from your port injectors and potentially cause a lean mixture since it's not going to be seeing the total amount of fuel it expects. So by disabling the ignition system, it just makes the car a lot safer when you're using tools like Reflex to control your port injection. Now, all of that is great, but MHD decided to take it to the next level with their mode of Reflex integration. And some of you have probably seen teasers about this over the past couple weeks, and now it's officially rolling out. Now, the big thing here is your reflex is going to be controlled by the DME and they kind of explain the steps on their post so you can kind of see how it all works. But step by step, it starts off by storing the port injection calibration data in the DME. So that'll be built into the tune. Just make sure your tuner knows what your port injector setup is, what size injectors you're using and all of that. And that will be the baseline in the tune. Then it's also calculating the amount of fuel that the tune is requesting, and it splits that quantity between the direct injectors and the port injectors based on the calibration. So it knows how much DI to spray and how much PI to spray. The DME also verifies that it's within you know, the operating tolerance. So it makes sure that you're not requesting more fuel than the fuel system can actually provide. After that, the DME will tell the reflex how much port injector you want to use and how much it should be spraying. Then once the reflex gets that information, it's going to use its data on the cam and crank sensor position to make sure that it can sequentially fire the port injectors. And with all of that ready, it'll begin spraying the port injectors. Now, of course, all of this is happening really quick over and over, you know, it's in milliseconds and this is something that's responding all through electrical signals in the car. But the big news here is all of this is controlled by the DME tune now. So you will no longer need to flash your reflex with a separate file and 
and try to get that going. I know some people have had connection issues and things like that. So this will avoid all of that. You'll never have to go under your hood again to connect to a reflex. Instead, you'll flash everything through the DME tune that you flash through the OBD port. So this is a huge upgrade because now not only is the DME able to monitor things, you know, last year they came out with the upgraded features where it could monitor if injectors were like broken or not working and things like that. Now it's actually monitoring the amount of fuel that's spraying and how much you're requesting. It's making sure that you're not overwhelming the fuel system and also just getting full control over how much fuel your fuel system is going to spray for any given scenario. So that should be able to adjust based on ethanol content, based on your anti-lag settings, basically everything else in your tune that's controlling how the engine's working will now also be able to control how your reflex is working. And this also works for auxiliary systems as well. So they mentioned if you have nitrous, if you have external wastegates, low pressure fuel pumps, anything else that's controlled by your mode of reflex, all of that can be controlled through these new DME tunes as well. So I think that's a really big upgrade and it's just the next level of integration that a lot of people have been looking for. The more that this works like a factory car that comes with both port and dual injection, the better it is for everybody. It's basically the safest way to implement port injection on our platforms. Now they did mention that you wanna make sure you flash the latest firmware to your reflex. I don't know what the last firmware is that will work, but I did check their website and I saw that it looks like they updated the firmware within the past two weeks or so. So what I would recommend is if you plan on using this, just update the firmware on your reflex, make sure it's the latest and greatest from their website, follow the instructions that they have on there on how to flash the firmware, and then you should be able to take advantage of the new MHD Plus features. Now, unfortunately, the release is going to take a little bit of time. They did say that this initial release is only for Gen 2 vehicles, so if you have a Supra or an M340i, this is for you, but only if you have a pre-June DME. So if you're one of the people that only needed a bench unlock in order to flash your car, then this is going to apply to you. I believe it also applies to clone DMEs. So if you have a pre-June DME that you cloned your factory DME to that one, then this will also work as well. You'll just be able to flash it straight through the OBD to get the updated software. After this one is rolled out, they said next to come up will be the S58 car, so we'll have to wait on that one. And it's got the same stipulations. If you have an S58 engine with a pre-June DME, then you'll be able to take advantage of it at that point. And then the third one that's going to roll out is everybody that has a FEM2 unlock. So that applies to everybody that has a post-June 2020 DME and you did not get it cloned. You simply sent your factory DME over to FEM2 to get it flashed then you'll be the third ones to see the software update. Now, keep in mind, if you've already sent your DME out to FEM2 to be unlocked, you will have to send it to them again to enable these custom features. So that's just kind of the downside of not paying the extra money for the clone DME up front. If any of these new features roll out, you'll always have to send it back to get the custom code written to the DME, and then it'll come back to you with all of the new software updates. Also, I saw some people asking in the comments if Gen 1 was going to be included in this rollout, and they did say that it'll be coming afterwards, so I'm assuming that means after all of those, then Gen 1 will be the last one to see these features. But just knowing that it's on the horizon is huge. I think that this is really exciting because we've been getting teased about this a lot, you know, seeing different posts insinuating that this would happen. And of course, this is one of the capabilities with Ecutech and one of the reasons why a lot of people like using Ecutech because of the simplicity and integration when working with a mode of reflex. So now that MHD has the same capability, I just think it makes it that much better of a platform and much more useful for people that want to push their cars further. So yeah, if you guys see any other information or have any other questions, definitely let me know. I'm going to be looking out for this and of course trying it on my car. I'll let you guys know how it works. And yeah. I think that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.